imagine what you'd see if you had a lens the size of a galaxy. Well, believe it or not, galaxies themselves can actually act as lenses. There's no the universe, with all its mysteries and complexities, is a source of wonder and fascination for humanity. When we look up at the night sky, what we see is a blue ball of semi-molten rock, Earth, with a relatively thin, hard shell and a delicate layer of gases that make up our atmosphere. And on this seemingly ordinary planet, we find an incredible diversity of self-reproducing flora and fauna, each with its unique characteristics and quirks. Yet, as we venture beyond our home, we realize that the strangeness of the universe is far more profound and extensive than anything we can encounter on Earth. Astronomers are the intrepid explorers of this vast cosmic landscape, and they continually make new discoveries that challenge our understanding of the cosmos. One of the latest breakthroughs is brought to us by the James Webb Space Telescope, a remarkable tool that is rapidly expanding our knowledge of the universe's enigmatic aspects. Among the most intriguing recent discoveries is the existence of 12 perfectly identical galaxies in the depths of space. This finding is nothing short of astounding and raises numerous questions and hypotheses. How is it possible that these galaxies are so remarkably alike? Could this phenomenon be linked to the enigmatic nature of black holes, those cosmic entities that warp space and time themselves? And, perhaps the most captivating question, is it conceivable that our Milky Way, our own galaxy, might experience something akin to this extraordinary cosmic phenomenon. At the heart of this exploration is the fundamental force of gravity. It's the invisible yet undeniable power that binds the universe together, and its strength is directly proportional to the mass of an object. Gravity is a force that influences the very fabric of space and time. What makes it truly remarkable is its ability to bend not only the path of light but also the trajectories of physical matter. This phenomenon is known as gravitational lensing, and it was a central prediction of Albert Einstein's theory of relativity, a revolutionary concept that forever altered our understanding of gravity. Einstein's theory of relativity ushered in a new era in physics, one where the fundamental concepts of gravity, space, and time were redefined. According to his theory, the fabric of space-time can be bent and curved by massive objects, causing the paths of light to warp along the contours of this curvature. This groundbreaking idea was confirmed during a solar eclipse in 1919 when astronomers observed starlight bending as it passed close to the Sun, thereby solidifying Einstein's place in the annals of scientific history. Gravitational lensing is a phenomenon that allows us to see the universe in a unique way. When light from distant stars and galaxies travels through regions of space that are intensely distorted due to the presence of massive objects such as galaxies or black holes, it creates mesmerizing visual effects. This lensing effect can generate multiple images of a single object, such as a distant galaxy. For astronomers, this presents a golden opportunity to study these celestial bodies in exquisite detail. The sunburst arc is a striking example of such a phenomenon. It consists of at least 12 replica images of a distant galaxy, all spread across four large arcs. What makes this phenomenon even more remarkable, is that the powerful gravitational pull of a massive concentration of dark matter from a distant galaxy cluster is responsible for bending the light from the sunburst arc. This creates the illusion that there are multiple copies of the same galaxy, some of which appear 10 to 30 times brighter than the real galaxy. The implications of this discovery are profound. By analyzing these images, astronomers can study structures as small as 520 light years wide, providing insights into the evolution of galaxies. The sunburst arc is a window into the universe's past, as it resembles the earliest galaxies that emerged during the epoch of Ryanization, which occurred about 300,000 years after the Big Bang. The epoch of Ryanization was a pivotal period in the universe's history when the cosmos transitioned from being filled with neutral hydrogen to a state of ionization. During this epoch, the entire universe was a dense, 
opaque sea of hydrogen. The transformation of this neutral hydrogen into an ionized state involved the escape of high energy radiation from galaxies. However, it's a puzzle how these high energy photons could have evaded being absorbed by the interstellar medium, and other matter within galaxies. The sunburst arc offers some clues by demonstrating that photons can leak through gaps in neutral material with abundant gas, implying that they may have played a role in the epoch of ryanization. In 2013, a serendipitous discovery by astronomer Tim Hamilton of Shawnee State University in Portsmouth, Ohio, unfolded while he was examining data from the Hubble Space Telescope. Hamilton stumbled upon two galaxies that appeared to be mirror images of each other, sparking an intriguing cosmic mystery. Further investigation revealed a third galaxy nearby, deepening the enigma. Over nearly a decade, scientists engaged in speculation, research, and rigorous analysis to untangle the complexities of this celestial phenomenon, leading to a remarkable explanation. A captivating cosmic revelation, two seemingly identical galaxies are, in fact, a lone galaxy astonishingly separated by a vast expanse of 11 billion light years. This intriguing optical phenomenon is a result of the profound gravitational influence exerted by a colossal concentration of dark matter, an enigmatic and substantial component of the universe's mass. Dark matter, the cryptic force binding galaxies and safeguarding them from dispersing into the cosmic abyss, serves as a cosmic lens, artfully contorting and reshaping light in a manner reminiscent of a surreal journey through a colossal funhouse mirror. Researchers discovered that a dense dark matter blob in a distant galaxy cluster, located 7 billion light years away, was responsible for bending the light from a galaxy observed by the James Webb Space Telescope. Analyzing this light bending revealed that the dark matter's distribution in the cluster needed to be smooth and consistent to produce the observed image, shedding light on the potential distribution of dark matter in the universe. This finding highlights the pivotal role of dark matter in the cosmos, and offers valuable insights into its properties. As we stand on the precipice of cosmic exploration, the James Webb Space Telescope plays a central role. Often hailed as the greatest time machine in the history of science, it offers humanity the opportunity to peer further back in time than any other observatory before it. With its large primary mirror, remote location in space, ultra-low temperatures, and instruments optimized for infrared observations, the JWST has extended our vision across the cosmos. The James Webb Space Telescope made a groundbreaking discovery, a galaxy cluster forming just 650 million years after the Big Bang. This provides valuable insights into the universe's evolution, with matter and energy initially evenly distributed but later showing minor fluctuations. Thank you for watching another episode of Elizeeb, while you are still here don't forget to like and subscribe.